it's Candy. Welcome back to my channel. I know I look a little a drab, but it's boxy charm time. And since we've been trying stuff out, I thought, why do you put your makeup on first? Let's open this up in the morning before we go to work, and we'll see if we can try out some new products today. Bye. All right. So boxy bash is the theme for the month. Looks like they're celebrating something. <clears throat> All right. So let's get these products out. All right. So the first thing I'm seeing is a Cover FX blurring primer. A lightweight, soft focus primer that blurs the appearance of pores, fine lines, and other imperfections, creating a smooth canvas for flawless foundation application. MSRP on this is $38. I mean, I think we all know that Color Effects is a really good brand. So, primer's the first step, right? Okay. I'm sitting weird on my chair, so it keeps like making a weird noise. I was like sitting forward on it. <clears throat> Alright. My mirror has this issue. I think it's, um, oh, oh. Okay. Not what I was expecting. It's tinted. So that's different. Aren't, aren't primers usually like clear um, huh? let's, let's uh it feels so nice I don't know why primer feels so good to me but I just kinda like well, I guess it does what it says it does. It uh, just like kind of glides over your skin and makes your skin just so soft. So far, so good. This feels so nice. And it, it I mean, it went in really nicely on my skin. Hopefully I got it everywhere because even though it was tinted, once we got past that tint, like it just kind of blurred in. Which I guess is what it's supposed to do. Duh, candy. Um. Hmm. Okay. So this is from Pretty Vulgar. And this is the Ink Gel Eyeliner. It's like their packaging is just so gorgeous. If you remember a couple months ago, we got a blush. Can you guys see in there? So it's like, a, it's a gel eyeliner. This is the Blacklist. Um, I guess I should have like, kind of looked and like, opened these things together. <clears throat> Let's open this palette. This is... By Pure Cosmetics, you know, Pure and uh, BoxyCharm are kind of, they go hand in hand, it seems like. Oh, the um, MSRP on the eyeliner is 24 bucks. So here is the Pure Cosmetics Sculptor Palette. A four shade sculpting palette that features two high beam highlighters and two matte contour shades that will leave skin sculpted to perfection with highly pigmented and buttery formulas. Boy. They sure know how to close up these palettes and not let you in. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Why do they do that to me? On the mirror says, you're a sculptor of your own destiny. That's cute. Alright, so... Let's open the brushes now. There is 
Aesthetica P12 face brush with synthetic fibers that allows for maximum control. The P12 face brush is perfect for creating a seamless look. Alright, so for me this is like probably a blush brush or um, contour or highlight brush. That's what I would use it for. And then they also sent a three-piece eye trio. Aesthetica Trio series comes with an angled eyeliner brush, a brow spoolie, and a fine-tipped eyeliner brush. A convenient three-in-one used for a wide variety of looks from a subtle wing to dramatic cat eye. Use the brow brush, brush for a fuller defined eyebrows. $45. I was wondering <laughs> if there was an eye brush in here because I was going to have to look for a brush for that eyeliner. I feel like I have nails and I can't do anything. I can't open anything. I can't like... Ugh, it gets annoying to me. Alright. So, there's the brushes, the spoolie, the fine eyeliner brush, and the flat eyeliner brush. I get, we're going to find out if these work. And finally, this is by Beauty Creations. It is a liquid lip gloss. A matte lip gloss. Matte lip gloss, huh? Like, doesn't that seem like an oxymoron? This is Sweetheart, the color. I mean, it's pretty. It's like almost the exact color of my lips. I'm sorry. That smells like a candy apple, like a green apple. Like green apple Jolly Rancher. It's nice. It feels nice. It's very soft on the lips. All right, let's get to my face. Oh, here's the pretty vulgar blush. You see how pretty it is? Oh, I love it. Okay, so for my face, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue over the top of this primer. All right, this is in the color Vanilla. Um, I went to Ulta, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago, and I got color matched and... The Bare Minerals Vanilla is my color. So, should be the right color. Well, it is the right color. I've, been, I've used it a couple times now. I like it. It's a very lightweight. I don't feel like I'm wearing, like, a ton of product on my face, which is my biggest complaint about foundations and things like that. I'm just going to bounce that in all over my face. Okay, so this did turn matte. Mm -hmm. ah, it's very sticky though. Okay, put that down on my neck. Alright. Then I'm going to go in with some Maybelline Instant Age Rewind for under my eyes. You guys are getting like a real quick view of my makeup today because I'm trying to not take a lot of time. <clears throat> All 
All right, then I'm going to set everything with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. And instead of the brush that comes with it, should I use the big face brush? No. Let's use the brush that comes with it. We'll use the aesthetic of face brush for um, oh, something on the thing. Really? 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 All right, we're going to set this with the powder, and then we're going to have to change cards, apparently. Been really bad about, like, recording but not doing anything else. Like, not downloading my content, apparently. Although I do have a couple cooking things on there. And a video with my nephews, so... Okay. So you can see that just kind of, like, evens out my skin. It makes it look nice. So, let's change the card. Well, next up, I don't think I'm going to do any eyeshadow today. We're just going to go in with the liner and we're going to do brows. So let me get the brows going. I'm super simple with my brows lately, just the It Brow Power is my everything. It works so well and it's so easy. I don't have to do anything special. And the color builds so nicely. <clears throat> I'm going to try taking this NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil and drawing in a few hairs here. See if it makes any difference. A little, but not much. You know, we're trying stuff right now, so... We might as well just, like, go for the gusto. Okay, I want to go above. One of my brows is higher than the other, and so... If I want them to look more even, I kind of have to draw this one a little bit higher. Sisters, not twins. Sisters, not twins. There we go. Now I constantly look like I'm like... I hate myself. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't. So let's take this spoolie and like even these out just a little bit more. That's good. This spoolie brush is a spoolie brush. Like, it's not anything special. Alright, is there special instructions for this? This highly pigmented gel eyeliner provides a quick drying application with enriched vitamin C to condition the lids. Its creamy and water resistant formula allows the smooth application that stays in place all day. Alright, I'm just going to take the angled brush, dip it into the pot. From looking in the pot, I can see that I've got product on there, but like the brush is black, so. I've never put on eyeliner like this. So this is a new one for me.
I've only used pencils or pens. It's so different. It's like, it looks nice. It's just so different for me to do it that way. All right, let's do the other eye. We're just going super simple today. I hope you guys realize. This is where it gets hairy for me because... I always am really bad at this eye. See, I got some underneath. Well, let's do the waterline. Can you use gel liner on the waterline? Yeah. <laughs> Does that look crazy? Do I look goth now? Well, I did so much thicker on this eye. Now I gotta go back in smudge this one out a little bit it's not terrible but now I kinda wanna do some eyeshadow I've had that on for like 10 minutes and it's still sticky something. I'm going to take this pretty vulgar blush. I'm going to put it on my eyes. I'm just going to do one color today on my eyes. It's just going to be this blush. And that's all we're going to write. It's pretty. It's really pretty. Boom. All right. So then let's go in with this sculpting palette. And so we're going to take the lighter color, which is Inventor, and we're going to go there, on that side, the jawline. I don't contour much, so to the hairline. So if this turns out crazy, it'll probably turn out crazy. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush and down my nose. Okay, now we're going to blend. That's where we're going to take the face brush. We're going to blend for our lives. This does not seem to want to blend. I think this brush might be too fluffy. Let me try something a little denser. There we go.
What the heck? So I've heard with contour you want to make like a a three shape. That's not bad. I thought it would be much worse than this. But that's not bad at all. So I decided that I am going to do blush. Because I think it'll look nice now with that contour. And then we're going to go in with highlight. I think we're going to use Trailblazer. I want a smaller brush. I'm going to take this brush from Moda. There we go. Get your highlight on, girl. I don't know why I love highlights so much, like, it's just so pretty. I mean, who doesn't want to sparkle, right? So then we're going to go down my nose, Cupid's bow. I'm going to do up here as well. Bama ba blama, it looks nice. What do we think, guys? I know the lighting's not perfect, but... It's decent. Nope. Or my little flashy thing is, but... The contour, the the highlight is like, you can definitely see. I don't know, I think it looks nice. It's a subtle look. I'm going to experiment some more with contouring. But you guys, this lip gloss is not okay. My lips should not stick together all day long. Like, that's not okay. I think I'm going to do another coat, though. <laughs> I do love the smell. It smells so nice. The application is really smooth. It feels nice on, but I do not like that it's so sticky. Like I said, maybe this second coat will keep that from being an issue but there we go there is my boxy charm using the products doing a full face with them literally everything I used was from boxy charm except that bare mineral stuff which I just got for myself so it's not bad um, I tend to do a lot of pink and red looks so this is not shocking at all that uh, this is the look I did. I do want to venture into some more color though, so we're going to be doing that soon. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye!